guys, DQ32 or Daryl Cat here. Um, whatever you want to call me, it doesn't matter. Anyways, so I was just fiddling around on GarageBand, and you know how previously, actually a long time ago, I did a bass drop um, tutorial on GarageBand, but it was a really old version, and uh, since I got a new version now, and I'm working with this stuff, it's absolutely amazing, but now that I'm working with this new version, it's kind of hard to like figure out how to make that same bass drop again, so I kind of struggled with that, and uh, just recently, I figured out how to do it, so enough of my stuttering and blabbering, let's just get right onto it, shall we? So, what we have over here is my GarageBand project, I'm just going to minimize that actually, it just makes it a little bit easier to see. So you see Eyes of the Holy One is, is one of my songs, so just give me an example of what it sounds like. This is what you're aiming for. You hear that? Pretty beautiful, eh? So this is pretty much by itself. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a bass drop. Okay, so first thing that you need to do, let's, let's make a new brand. Well, let's just do it the way you would do it. So you wouldn't originally go to track, new track, but I just go Alt-Command-New. Alt-Command-N, I should say. And blah, blah, blah. Bam! Software instrument. Um, I have it set to Soundflower just so you guys can hear me <laughs> and hear what I'm doing on, on GarageBand. So I go to that. Now, what you want to do now is, in order to make this bass drop, what you need to do is you want to go down to over here. See what you have over here. You have synthesizers. You want to go to the bass. Now, it took me a long time to try and find this, <laughs> so I'm just showing you guys so that you don't have to worry about searching it yourself. So we go down to the bottom with vintage synth bass. That's the first thing you want to start with. Now, you'll notice right over here we have all these modules over here basically these little no whatever you want toggles whatever <laughs> you know what I mean anyways so you'll see that all these are already set to a preset you want to turn all these down make sure they're all down except the sine wave crank that bad boy now next thing you want to do is you want to go to your audio effects you want to add in an audio unit from Apple the audio unit band pass let's have one of those bad boys and let's go to keep now you'll notice it's like way over here, but I'll show you what this one looks like. If I go over here, boop, bam. So you want to try to emulate that as much as possible. So you'll see right here that actually you can probably even just go to here and bam, 55, 1878. So you want to try to emulate the same thing by 55, and then what was the other number again? 1878, right. Just drag that open, 18, close enough to it, right? Good enough. Whatever. So that's what we do here. That's the one that we have now. So we can close that. That should be set up. Now, the next thing you want to look at is just over here. You want to go to your equalizer. You'll notice it looks very flat and quite plain, right? Just blah. Very, barely anything. Now if you go to your bass drop, I have it cranked, right? <laughs> so this is what gives you that really powerful if you know what I mean. But we'll get to that in a second. So we go over here, and you want to go to the frequency right here on this one. And you should see it sets to 142. My bad. <laughs> it's 142 and 11.5 gain. So you want to do the same thing with our previous one that we have over here. So make sure this one's on. Actually, let's, let's turn these off first. So we have just this one, that one, and that one. So let's do that. Do, do, that one's on. Nope, it's this one, and then that one. Good, I think. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, so we go to here, and we have. So check out the frequency on that. You want to go down to here. We, oh my God. Okay. So you have 142 hertz with 11.5 decibels on gain. So we're gonna do the same thing with this. 142. 142 and 11.5. Awesome. So that's set up. Now you want to go to this bad boy here, I'm going to go right down to the end, and go to negative 18. So let's do that. To the end, and negative 18. It's just so it gives, gets rid of that kind of popping noises. Anyway, so you go to that one, that one's done, now the last one. 
This one here goes to 1080 and it's 4.5 gain. So, whoop, 1080. Doesn't have to be exact, but you know, close enough. 4.5 gain, good. Now it should be exactly the same, but you'll notice <laughs> it doesn't quite look the same. It's mainly because of the decibels over here. I just cranked it up for the gain, overall gain. So it's at 11. Let's turn it up to 11. <laughs> it's up to 11 we go. Awesome. Now it should look exactly the same. Close to it anyways. So now that we have that organized, let's get to making the actual notes. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Put that stuff down there. You'll notice um, this one here, what I have is it's the string of notes. And the reason why I chose uh, the uh, vintage synth bass is mainly because it's a lead and leads tend to glide a lot easier when you take the note and stretch it over just enough so that it's over top and then it will glide down other than do -do 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 the entire time if you know what I mean. <laughs> It'll just be a boom as well as right here. Beautiful. So what we do there is of course you want to try, create that same idea. So you want to go to here there we go. And since it's in D minor, I like to put it right on the root. Oh, look at that. Already the proper proper length. So you take this, copy pasta, just a little bit afterwards, break it down. Same thing. Same rules apply essentially. Just keep copy pasta. And I'm going to be cheap and do this. And then over here. And maybe just one more. Just for just for good luck, you know what I mean? You say that to there. Shut up, phone. <laughs> Someone just like my post on Vine. But anyways, so now that we have that organized, it should be good to go. But the thing is, oh, by the way, I have all these cranked to 127. Just just to let you know. Now, if we get rid of this, it should sound the exact same. Check it out. this. Perfect. Exactly the way we wanted it, right? Now, the reason why it descends a lot faster is obviously because what I've done is I've just changed the volume so it goes down just a big slope like that. You don't have to, but it adds to the effect essentially. So, that is how my god <laughs> how to make a bass drop. You can do that for all your dubstep, your techno tunes, your metal, whatever you want. So that's how to do it, you guys. Recap. Synthesizer. Bass. Vintage synth. Then you want to go to controls. Make sure all that's down except the sine wave is cranked. Equalizer looks like that. The audio unit band pass filter looks about that. Here's your frequencies. Close enough. And there you go. Let's delete that. I don't need that in my my song and bam one last time oh god oh god why are you doing that no stop Shh. sorry guys that was uh what i don't know why it was doing that oh my god <laughs> Okay, sorry for your headphone users. Anyway, so that's the end of my tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to save that and quit.